Chapter 18 Unfriendly people care only about themselves, they lash out at common sense. Fools have no interest in understanding, they only want to air their own opinions. Doing wrong leads to disgrace, and scandalous behavior brings contempt. Wise words are like deep waters. Wisdom flows from the wise like a bubbling brook. It is not right to acquit the guilty or deny justice to the innocent. Fools' words get them into constant quarrels. They are asking for a beating. The mouths of fools are their ruin. They trap themselves with their lips. Rumors are dainty morsels that sink deep into one's heart. A lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to Him and are safe. The rich think of their wealth as a strong defense. They imagine it to be a high wall of safety. Haughtiness goes before destruction. Humility precedes honor. Spouting off before listening to the facts is both shameful and foolish. The human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear a crushed spirit? Intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Giving a gift can open doors. It gives access to important people. The first to speak in court sounds right until the cross-examination begins. Flipping a coin can end arguments. It settles disputes between powerful opponents. An offended friend is harder to win back than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with bars. Wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. The man who finds a wife finds a treasure, and he receives favor from the Lord. The poor plead for mercy, the rich answer with insults. There are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother. Chapter 19 Better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and a fool. Enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. Haste makes mistakes. People ruin their lives by their own foolishness and then are angry at the Lord. Wealth makes many friends. Poverty drives them all away. A false witness will not go unpunished, nor will a liar escape. Many seek favors from a ruler. Everyone is the friend of a person who gives gifts. The relatives of the poor despise them. How much more will their friends avoid them? Though the poor plead with them, their friends are gone. To acquire wisdom is to love oneself. People who cherish understanding will prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished, and a liar will be destroyed. It isn't right for a fool to live in luxury, or for a slave to rule over princes. Sensible people control their temper. They earn respect by overlooking wrongs. The king's anger is like a lion's roar, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish child is a calamity to a father. A quarrelsome wife is as annoying as constant dripping. Fathers can give their sons an inheritance of houses and wealth, but only the Lord can give an understanding wife. Lazy people sleep soundly, but idleness leaves them hungry. Keep the commandments and keep your life. Despising them leads to death. If you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord, and He will repay you. Discipline your children while there is hope, otherwise you will ruin their lives. Hot-tempered people must pay the penalty. If you rescue them once, you will have to do it again. Get all the advice and instruction you can so you will be wise the rest of your life. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Loyalty makes a person attractive. It is better to be poor than dishonest. Fear of the Lord leads to life, bringing security and protection from harm. Lazy people take food in their hand, but don't even lift it to their mouth. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded will learn a lesson. If you correct the wise... They will be all the wiser. 
children who mistreat their father or chase away their mother are an embarrassment and a public disgrace. If you stop listening to instruction, my child, you will turn your back on knowledge. A corrupt witness makes a mockery of justice. The mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Punishment is made for mockers, and the backs of fools are made to be beaten. Chapter 20 Wine produces mockers, alcohol leads to brawls. Those led astray by drink cannot be wise. The king's fury is like a lion's roar. To rouse his anger is to risk your life. Avoiding a fight is a mark of honor. Only fools insist on quarreling. Those too lazy to plow in the right season will have no food at the harvest. Though good advice lies deep within the heart, a person with understanding will draw it out. Many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is truly reliable? The godly walk with integrity. Blessed are their children who follow them. When a king sits in judgment, he weighs all the evidence, distinguishing the bad from the good. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure and free from sin? False weights and unequal measures, the Lord detests double standards of every kind. Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure and whether it is right. Ears to hear and eyes to see, both are gifts from the Lord. If you love sleep, you will end in poverty. Keep your eyes open, and there will be plenty to eat. The buyer haggles over the price, saying it's worthless, then brags about getting a bargain. Wise words are more valuable than much gold and many rubies. Get security from someone who guarantees a stranger's debt. Get a deposit if he does it for foreigners. Stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. Plans succeed through good counsel. Don't go to war without wise advice. A gossip goes around telling secrets, so don't hang around with chatterers. If you insult your father or mother, your light will be snuffed out in total darkness. An inheritance obtained too early in life is not a blessing in the end. Don't say, I will get even for this wrong. Wait for the Lord to handle the matter. The Lord detests double standards. He is not pleased by dishonest scales. The Lord directs our steps, so why try to understand everything along the way? Don't trap yourself by making a rash promise to God and only later counting the cost. A wise king scatters the wicked like wheat, then runs his threshing wheel over them. The Lord's light penetrates the human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. Unfailing love and faithfulness protect the king. His throne is made secure through love. The glory of the young is their strength. The gray hair of experience is the splendor of the old. Physical punishment cleanses away evil. Such discipline purifies the heart. Chapter 21 The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. People may be right in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their heart. The Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer Him sacrifices. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, and evil actions are all sin. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Wealth created by a lying tongue is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap. The violence of the wicked sweeps them away because they refuse to do what is just. The guilty walk a crooked path, the innocent travel a straight road. It's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Evil people desire evil. Their neighbors get no mercy from them. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded become wise. If you instruct the wise, they will be all the wiser. The righteous one knows what is going on in the homes of the wicked. He will bring disaster on them. Those who shut their ears to the cries of the poor will be ignored in their own time of need. A secret gift calms anger. A bribe under the table pacifies fury. 
Justice is a joy to the godly, but it terrifies evildoers. The person who strays from common sense will end up in the company of the dead. Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. The wicked are punished in place of the godly and traitors in place of the honest. It's better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome, complaining wife. The wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. Whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness, and honor. The wise conquer the city of the strong and level the fortress in which they trust. Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut, and you will stay out of trouble. Mockers are proud and haughty; they act with boundless arrogance. Despite their desires, the lazy will come to ruin, for their hands refuse to work. Some people are always greedy for more, but the godly love to give. The sacrifice of an evil person is detestable, especially when it is offered with wrong motives. A false witness will be cut off, but a credible witness will be allowed to speak. The wicked bluff their way through, but the virtuous think before they act. No human wisdom or understanding or plan can stand against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Chapter twenty-two. Choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. The rich and poor have this in common: the Lord made them both. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and long life. Corrupt people walk a thorny, treacherous road. Whoever values life will avoid it. Direct your children onto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. Just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is servant to the lender. Those who plant injustice will harvest disaster, and their reign of terror will come to an end. Blessed are those who are generous, because they feed the poor. Throw out the mocker, and fighting goes too. Quarrels and insults will disappear. Whoever loves a pure heart and gracious speech will have the king as a friend. The Lord preserves those with knowledge, but He ruins the plans of the treacherous. The lazy person claims, "There's a lion out there. If I go outside, I might be killed." The mouth of an immoral woman is a dangerous trap. Those who make the Lord angry will fall into it. A youngster's heart is filled with foolishness, but physical discipline will drive it far away. A person who gets ahead by oppressing the poor or by showering gifts on the rich will end in poverty. Sayings of the wise. Listen to the words of the wise. Apply your heart to my instruction, for it is good to keep these sayings in your heart and always ready on your lips. I am teaching you today. Yes, you. So you will trust in the Lord. I have written thirty sayings for you, filled with advice and knowledge. In this way, you may know the truth and take an accurate report to those who sent you. Don't rob the poor just because you can, or exploit the needy in court. For the Lord is their defender; He will ruin anyone who ruins them. Don't befriend angry people or associate with hot-tempered people, or you will learn to be like them and endanger your soul. Don't agree to guarantee another person's debt or put up security for someone else. If you can't pay it, even your bed will be snatched from under you. Don't cheat your neighbor by moving the ancient boundary markers set up by previous generations. Do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people.